Namaskar and good evening. <coughs> Today we will look at a premier supermarket chain called D-Mart. All of you are uh, familiar with it. It is available all over India, most states. The company is called Avenue Supermarket. The stores are called D-Mart. Ramesh Damani is the chairman and managing director. Ignatius Neville Noranha is the managing director and CEO. Ramesh Damani is chairman and independent director. Ignatius Neville is the managing director and CEO. <coughs> DMART or Avenue Supermarkets is a Mumbai based company and operates the DMART stores. DMART offers foods, non foods that is FMCG and general merchandise and apparel product categories. Categories include grocery, staples, dairy and frozen fruits and vegetables, home and personal care, bed and bath, crockery, footwear, toys and games, kids apparel, apparel for men and women and daily essentials. First store was opened by, by D-Mart in Mumbai uh, in 2002. Right now it has uh, 336 uh, operating stores with a retail business area of 13.9 million square feet across Maharashtra, Gujarat, Daman, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Telangana, Tamil Nadu, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, NCR, Chhattisgarh and uh, Punjab. Let us look at uh, the uh, Q2 results briefly, that is September ended results briefly. Net sales are 12,624 crores. Q1 11,865 crores. Q2 of last year, 10,638 crores. Which means year on year growth is 18.7 and quarter on quarter growth is 6.4. Not bad. Let us look at uh, net profit also. <coughs> net profit is uh, 623.35 crores in Q2. Q1 is more. 658.71 crores. Q2 of last year also is much more 685.71 crores, which means net profit has fallen by minus 9.09 percent year on year uh, and uh, 5.37 percent quarter on quarter. So, while sales have risen reasonably, net profit has uh, uh, fallen by 9.09% uh, year on year and 5.37% uh, quarter on quarter. Uh, we have to wait and see how it performs. Of course, it follows a uh, policy of uh, low cost and low price. So, net profit uh, is a little uh, depressed because of a conscious policy. But sales are increasing because of the same conscious policy. Equity is 650.73 crores. Basic EPS is 9.58. Market price uh, hovers around 3,900. Therefore, price earning is around uh, 101. Very high. Traditionally, it has been high. Currently, it has about 336 stores. In uh, the Q2 quarter, 9 stores were added. <coughs> now, for the half year, if you take, first half year, hmm, total revenue yeah, stands at 23,892 crores with a year on year growth of 18.3 percent. As we have seen, in uh, Q2 also, uh, uh, the growth is around 18 plus. Uh, but profit after tax has uh, uh, stands at 1,354 crores 
year on year a decline of 4.4 percent <coughs> but h1 fi23 had a one time adjustment of prior years of 141 crores so that one time adjustment has affected uh, this uh, comparison so let us see how it uh, performs in q3 basic eps for the half year uh, is 20.82 whereas it was 21.77 slightly more in last year h1 12 stores are added in h1 <coughs> so net profit stands at 1354 crores in h1 compared to 1410 crores in h1 of last year profit margin in h1 stands at 5.6% compared to 7% in uh, h1 of last year uh, profit uh, margin also is 4.9% in uh, q2 compared to 6.4% in q2 of last year at the same profit after tax margin is 5.2% in h1 compared to 6.4% uh, in h1 of last year so compared to last year there is a reduction in profits and profit margins dmart follows every day low cost and every day low price strategy for procuring goods and for selling <clears throat> so it fixes its price on a day to day basis based on the cost which should be the uh, a very low cost <clears throat> so nevil nuran has says all these things uh, in uh, his uh, speech also <coughs> volumes are of course good 554574 so buying and selling uh, the Uh, equity shares of uh, dmart is not a problem at all uh, <coughs> the price momentum is of course good strong annual eps growth the annual eps growth is okay now what are the other strengths roce has been improving during the last 2 years roe is improving roa is improving no debt whatsoever very low annual net profits are also increasing book value is improving zero promoter pledge that is good for a private company zero promoter pledge is good it is making a, a reasonable cash fis are increasing their share holding brokers have upgraded their recommendations in the past three months rsi is indicating price strength to some extent trend is uh, therefore somewhat bullish it is a reasonably strong performer uh, as regards sales is concerned now 52 week high is 4495 which means they reach go for uh, the price going up uh, because a uh, number of uh, uh, stores are being added and uh, uh, i think that one uh, one time item if uh, that is removed probably h3 uh, sorry q3 will be much better so price to book uh, is average price earning is uh, <coughs> uh, price earning is somewhat high face face value of the share is 10 rupees on that the price is uh, somewhat high market cap is 256118 crores uh, <coughs> analysts uh, 24 analysts uh, their uh, recommendation generally is uh, hold but many people have given buy also <coughs> so basically it is a strong performer uh, as regards sales etc is concerned current uh, quarter uh, net profits uh, has been uh, has become low compared to year on year because of the one time uh, factor 
promoters hold a uh, uh, very good uh, uh, share holding 74.65 percent mutual funds have increased their share holding fias have decreased their share holding somewhat institutional investors have increased their share holding now comes uh, uh, one of the things that uh, uh, i want to examine always price performance if you look at that uh, it, it was never a multi bag app <coughs> therefore it is a steady performer no doubt but it is never a multi bag app now let us watch its progress as the number of stores increase the performance is bound to increase so uh, and stores are being added eight stores nine stores ten stores in every quarter uh, it is being added hmm? ramesh damani uh, is following a very prudent policy low cost purchase uh, low price selling both are there uh, whether it is good for the company or not it is good for the customers good for uh, customers may not be that good for investors so let us watch but it is a very great company there is no doubt whatsoever it is a great company so let us watch uh, the dmart is one of the uh, probably uh, number one company in the supermarket chains hmm? so let us watch let us see how it performs in future